Well, 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 if it isn't you. I've been hearing a lot of things, a lot of questions being asked. You know, what am I supposed to do on the cycle frontier whenever I get started? You know, the release date's just right around the corner, June 8th. I know I'm excited, a whole bunch of other people are excited. But the big question is, what the fuck do I do? You know, there's so many things. It's kind of like Escape from Tarkov, you know? You go in, you loot, you shoot, and you get the fuck out. There is a lot more to it, though. From the economy, to the tasks, the missions, they got the battle pass coming in, your little fucking apartment kind of thing. You know, you got a whole bunch of different things to upgrade. And uh, I'm here to go over those with you today. So first things first, whenever you launch into the cycle frontier, after you customize your character and everything, you'll be spawning in the space station. In the space station, you got a few things there that you can do. So in the beta, what we got to see is that we had three factions that we're gonna be doing everything through. We got Korolev, Osiris, and ICA. These are gonna be your big dogs. This is gonna be how you're upgrading to new items, being able to sell your things. You really wanna focus on getting to them and accepting your task. That is huge, okay? That's the only way that you're gonna be really leveling up and seeing a big change in your gameplay. So first things first, whenever you load straight in, go right to either of those factions. I typically go Osiris because I love the color green. I know that doesn't really matter, but fuck it accept all their quests and then go ahead and load into a game. There are a few quests right off the bat that you can do that are fairly easy. Most of them are gonna be exploring a new area, killing striders or just grabbing compound sheets and stuff like that, some easy stuff. Um, some of those, you don't even have to make it through the entire raid to complete it, such as the striders, you just gotta kill 10 or so and then the quest completes and then you just go back to that faction and turn it in and then you get items, you get XP, all that good stuff, I'm sure um, whenever the full game releases that the battle pass will uh, take XP from that and level that up too and you'll get a whole bunch of cool free shit. Guys, whenever you're running around in Fortuna 3, you want to focus on um, getting loot. Um, you want to not be scared. Don't be a pussy. Go run at people. Um, gear fear is the worst thing to have in these kinds of games. You want to put yourself in those risky situations. You know the term high risk, high reward. Uh, that definitely goes into this game. Um, it definitely helps if you're interacting with other players, killing them, or maybe even trying to work something out to complete a quest. I've had a few moments where I cooperated with another random that I walked up on in the beta and uh, was able to work some situation out with them and then we helped each other complete our quest, which was really cool. Utilize the proximity chat. Uh, the proximity chat is really cool. Um, I get to talk shit to players, um, make them feel really uncomfortable. Uh, that's that's always my key. Right off the rip, you're probably going to be starting off with just gray armor, basic weapons. Guys, your main goal is to get the fuck out of the gray age, okay? You want to get to the green shit as quickly as possible. Um, with the green stuff, you're going to be having more armor durability so you won't die as quickly, which is extremely helpful in gunfights. Trust me, you don't want to get in a fight against another green armored person or a gray armored person and, you know, have a 50-50 chance of winning it. Whenever you jump up to that green armor, you're immediately ahead of most of the players in the game. Um, same thing with the weapons. You don't want to be just running around with the, uh, the SMG or the assault rifle. Um, the bolt action, I mean, it's kind of fucking crazy. I'd, I'd definitely use that one. That's completely fine. But uh, definitely try to upgrade to another weapon. I find it very necessary to try to level up Osiris as quickly as you can. Um, there is a certain mission that you unlock later on in the game that uh, unlocks strong stems, strong med kits, and whatnot. And those are a savior. Whenever you use the green stems, it gives you a lot more health than the gray stems do at the beginning. Guys, fucking grenades. Use them. They are amazing. I can't tell you how many kills I got during the beta from just yucking fucking nades around like crazy. I was playing fetch with people. It was hilarious. I was like their dad that they never got to play fetch with. It was a beautiful thing. I kept on throwing them at them. They'd be like, what's that? And I'd be like, it's a fucking nade. And they were dead. And all the loot was mine. I loved it. It was one of my favorite things to do in the beta. Throwing nades at people, fucking do it. Just toss them. Just don't care. Um, go into a raid with like five of them and just have fun. It is a great time, trust me. 
So also guys, whenever you get to a certain point in the game, you'll be able to start upgrading your generators. Within your generators, you can upgrade your safe pocket size, your stash size, a whole bunch of different things like that. One of the good things also to do is K marks. Upgrade your K marks. After a certain amount of time, you'll just get free money. Um, you know, I, I never really had an issue um, with anybody wanting to get free money. Definitely look at upgrading your safe pockets. That is huge, okay? Nothing's worse than going into a raid not having enough room in your backpack to actually throw anything in there. Um, so definitely um, idolize your safe pocket up. Same thing with your stash. I can't tell you how many times uh, right at the beginning of the game that I did not know about upgrading my stash size and I just kept on running out of fucking room in my stash. Definitely upgrade your stash because you want to keep a lot of things and if you don't have the room for it, it kind of makes that hard. So definitely focus on upgrading your stash, your safe pockets, and your K-Marks generator, okay? Pretty much guys, that's everything that you need to know to get started on the Cycle Frontier. Um, if you're looking forward to the release on June 8th, leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed the advice and the tips, feel free to leave a like button. And if you enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.